How to meet girls for a relationship here in the Philippines, probably a lot of other places as well. Come with me along on this walk from, uh, from Mandawi back towards J Center Mall area, F. Fortuna Street. And I'll tell you a little bit about uh, the walk along the way. Uh, anyway, here in the Philippines, um, you know, I should charge for this advice. Being the expert that I am, uh, normally I would, I would charge quite a bit of money for, for such advice, uh, special seminars. Um, but today I'm in a really good mood. And I see my first victims. I mean girls approaching me now. Hello. Like that, like that hair color. Like their hair color. Now I'm not talking about uh, the one night stands or uh, short term relationships. I'm talking about uh, somebody for a longer term relationship. Where, where, you know, I've done a previous video about where to meet. Uh, girls and uh, this video is a little bit about more about how to meet girls so let me review very quickly uh, the part about where to meet girls and we're talking about the Philippines but it would apply to many on other countries as well get out of your apartment condominium house whatever it is get out into the public communicate with people. Um, my experience here in the Philippines going to uh, shop for appliances initially when I came here, almost every time I start talking to Filipinos, they're very friendly, very friendly. And uh, two or more salespeople in an appliance store, boys, men and girls, adult age, uh, would approach me, try to help me out. And uh, second question, almost I always get, where's your wife, sir? Where's your wife? I don't have a wife. Oh, give her your number. She's looking for a partner. Um, so the malls, the stores, uh, the resorts, uh, there's lots of places. Just uh, be in the presence of people and be willing to be friendly, you know, uh, the Filipinos, other foreigners, they don't know. They don't know who you are. They don't know what language you speak. They don't know if you're a good guy, bad guy, what your intentions are, and if you smile, number one, smile, and uh, you'll oftentimes get a smile back. Say hello, good 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 morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, good evening, and uh, oftentimes especially here in the Philippines, uh, you can start a conversation very, very easily. And they will stop what they're doing, take interest in you. That building way down there, the taller one, that's a new condominium, not ready for occupancy, right? Uh, it hooked, connected, connected onto J Center Mall where immigration used to be, and they're called J Towers. And I've done videos in their uh, models a couple of years ago at least. By the way, I've got, uh, I think, over 3,000 videos up right now, uh, 43,000 subscribers, do a lot of uh, real estate type videos, and uh, what do condos look like, what do, they, what do they sell for, what do they rent for, all that type of thing, cost of living, travel videos, other types of things. Check them out, subscribe if you will. Now I'm going to, uh, you know, most of my subscribers are 50 to 70, I guess. Uh, some some older than that, some younger than that. All around the world, many from the, the USA, Australia, uh, Europe, and other places in the world. And I will be doing another real uh, relationship video probably next next week about relationships. And I've got good news and I've got bad news about that and uh, that's uh, that's another video and a little discussion and I'll put some numbers to the good news and the bad news now so number number one is uh, is uh, how to how to meet girls is just get out get out and get into places where there are girls and and, and if they're working uh, if they're working they're often working six days Central a week Park Hotel. And uh, one of my, 
my, one of my friend who has the done a lot more dating alone. than me uh, says that that there's a problem Those either either they're place. working all the time or they don't have a job and they're never working and not uh, don't have any gainful uh, gainful employment. Uh, you can find those who do have more time available, and you just need to uh, just need to be out there looking, I guess. But uh, one thing I found, I've been blogging for about eight years here in the Philippines, and uh, most Filipinos they will they will see see my camera from a mile, from two kilometers away. And most of them are not camera shy. In fact, I think I think they are the most uh, some of the most texting people and doing selfies. So they are they are constantly in, in front of the camera, taking pictures of themselves and friends and, and others. Uh, I have photo bombed quite a number of people, and they were they were happy to have me include me in their photos. But anyway, the, the point I'm trying to make is that uh, I carry a camera. And uh, like I say, they see that camera from a long ways off. And they wave, say hello, and it's a perfect way. Almost perfect, not always, not that everybody wants. A few people will put their arm up in front of their face or a, a book or paper or something. But being out in, basically being out in public, even in the US, USA, um, there's no guarantee of privacy. You know, I, I, I respect people's privacy. I don't go into bars and private businesses and sort of uh, flash on my camera around into people's faces. But uh, generally out in the public. Hello. If you, what is this building going to be? What is this building? I don't know what it's named. I don't think, I don't think they were sure. Some kind of commercial building. But you can get a relatively cheap camera, like an action camera or something, for $100 or less carry that around with you and uh, ask the girl that you might be attracted to uh, can we do us can I do a selfie with you can I uh, you know because they they love doing selfies especially with with foreigners now a good friend of mine I won't mention Bob's name uh, from New Zealand uh, <laughs> he says that walking down the street saying hello to people interacting with people um, might be a sign of early senility, and uh, I I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's the case. You know, it's it's good for me emotionally, and it, I think it's good for a lot of uh, a lot of Filipinos too, because it's uh, in in a way we are ambassadors uh, from our countries, and we can give off a good impression or a bad impression. And you know, every every country is different. I. I read a while back, there are a couple of countries, if you, if you are friendly, if you smile at people in some countries, they think you're either nuts, they think you're nuts, or they think you're an American. Think about that for a minute. I actually tried that uh, a few years ago when I went back to the USA, and I was walking and I was, I was uh, take, trying to take uh, public transportation to get around. And I tried talking to people on the street, and uh, boy, people were very defensive. And I asked a couple people, um, you know, why they were so defensive, basically. And they said, well, we, we, we're wondering, what do you want from us? You're going to ask us for money, or, or, or because usually that's how the, the panhandlers, people out there asking for money and all that sort of thing, uh, operate. So. You know, just, just depending upon, you know, every city, every town, every state, province around the world is different. In Nebraska, up in the USA, the middle of the country, farm country, um, you know, when I, when I would drive through there over the course of a number of years, did, uh, did some business there in that whole area up there, multi-state area. Dental clinic. And uh, very common for Almost everybody, all the locals, to wave to you while they're driving down the car as you're passing in the opposite direction. You know? And uh, if you stop in a cafe, uh, strike up a conversation. Anyway, the point is, have a camera, start up a conversation, take a selfie with your phone or camera, 
And anyway, I've got more videos coming. Thanks for watching.